I was not a very good fighter, took a lot of damage. Same thing with professional boxing. I had no business doing it, wasn't any good at it, and took a lot of damage there. And high school, college football, also more damage. Plus partying, plus 36 years of cannabis, cannabis use, plus all that. So that's why I was forced to write a TBI or CTE. What the hell was wrong with me? It wasn't a fun book to write at all. But if I had not written this book, if I had not gone through this process, if I had not faced that I was definitely dealing 100% with TBI symptoms, uh, that I was probably headed towards CTE, that I prob that I may still be headed towards CTE because of all the damage I've done, that's debatable. Uh, but I do know if I hadn't done this shit, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be talking to you. I wouldn't be doing any of this other stuff. Something bad would have happened. I was in a bad place. But again, I was saying I was fine. It wasn't until I actually looked at results, you know, of all these different tests. Like, yep, TBI. Yep, TBI. Fucking hormones are a mess. This is a mess. Oh, yeah, your emotional control. Garbage. Fortunately, I had the resources, the money to fix lots of the damage. Um, but, man, it's sad. Uh, talking to friends that there's no way. Guys that I boxed against that can barely speak that lost their jobs that were divorced that fucking have nothing to look forward to they're not going to get any better they're not going to get any help they're not going to what's going to help those guys nothing but um yeah so kind of fucked up situation